Hi, I'm Gary Malewski, and I'm your host of Cyber Defense TV. Today's guest is Fung, the CEO of Threatbook. He's going to tell us about his company. Uh, they're in the market space of threat intelligence. Fung, welcome. Hi, Gary. Thank you. So, what does your company do, and how do you do it? So, uh, Threatbook is the leading firm in China. We're dedic dedicated on threat intelligence. They're uh, focused on the China market. So when you say dedicated on threat intelligence, uh, what kind of, like, how do you get that threat intel? Is it the latest form of a virus or malware? Is it uh, an attack by a cyber crime group? What kind of information are you collecting? So we are providing actual threat intelligence to our customers in China, mostly enterprise. And uh, we track, you know, hundreds of different threat groups. We're track tracking their, like, the infrastructure they use, mm -hmm. uh, not just the virus, itself, the malware pieces, you know, they use, like their profiles, uh, their activities, and so on. So you take this threat intelligence information and you put it in a platform. Mm -hmm. What do we call that platform? Uh, yeah, we do have a threat intel platform, which we call TIP. TIP. Yes. So we're collecting a lot of threat intel. We're getting it in real time? Mm -hmm. Yes. We're putting it in a platform. And what kind of customers are using this platform and what do they do with it? Yeah, right now, we're focusing on the Fortune 500 in China, not the big ones. So every day, there's a new threat. Do you use machine learning? Do you have a team of engineers doing this and cybersecurity threat experts? Mm -hmm. How do you get that data so fast to your clients? So we, uh, Threatbook got about 100 employees today, and we have a group of, groups of engineers and analysts who works on the latest threats, you know, day and night. But more importantly, we have Things like you mentioned, like the deep learning and machine learning and other models, which works, you know, like 24 by 7, even when our people are sleeping. So the system will be able to produce like indicative compromise and other threat, threat intel like re by real time. So if I can take that indicator of compromise and put it into my scene, mm -hmm. does that mean if I see that pattern, I'm being victimized right now? Yes. And now I can have an actionable event and alert to block or detect that uh, situation and quarantine or isolate. Yes, so the indicator of compromise should also provide you the context, not just the hash, domain, and IP. It should be able to tell you which group or bad guys are using this particular you know, indicator uh, so that you know, you know how serious it is and who they are and what they're looking for. That's exciting. So, is there anything you'd want to tell our viewers to learn more about Threatbook and where you're headed, or give them some tips or ideas on uh, what they can do to improve their security posture? Sure. Uh, so, Threatbook is dedicated on uh, threat intel, as I mentioned before, and we're, what we're really doing is we, we want to leverage data science, like machine learning and big data and cloud computing, to uh, build up like a threat graph, and leveraging that graph database to improve our ability and our customer's ability to quickly identify whatever you know the move, move the movement the bad guys are making so that we're able to track that. So Threatbook is the market leader at threat intelligence in China, not only for these Fortune 500 companies on the outside to protect them from external breaches, but you've got another product that is integrated to allow them to stop the intranet breach or that insider threat where they might have a lateral attack mm -hmm. behind the firewall. Yes. Yeah, so we, we have two solutions. We, the first one was TIP, mm -hmm. which like empowers to make the existing solution smarter, and we have another one called TDP, which takes the traffic. Both like we call the north, south, and the east, west. So we see the two ways, you know, traffic to detect both external hackers and also like the insiders. Thank you for joining us, and thank you to Fung, the CEO of Threatbook, and stay tuned for another exciting episode of Cyber Defense TV.